Hello YouTube, it's me, Brittany. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. I'm gonna start with just some thoughts here and then I will continue on with what I was doing a couple of weeks ago before I got really stressed. But I'm gonna talk about all that and what's been going on the last couple of weeks. Um, two weeks ago I started my coming out journey uh, video series, uh, which I will continue. I plan on finishing that this weekend before I go back to work on Sunday night um, at 7 p.m. Um, anyways, if you can't tell by looking already I have fully moved into my new location however if you watched my last movie or my last video about moving um, I did not move into the same location with the girl that I had spoken about before and the only reason for that was because basically the next day after I had made that video my manager came up to me at work and offered me a place in employee housing which kind of comes with a little bit of rules and regulations, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm not that much of a rule breaker, so I can deal with it considering the rent is only about $400 a month, four or $500 a month, no utilities, no other expenses. So I'm going to try to use this entire winter to try to save a bunch of money and possibly purchase a car at the end of the season. So this is just some thoughts about my moving in the last couple of weeks of what have been going on. And then I will tell you guys all about my coming out journey videos uh, that's going on. Also, today is November 1st, so it is the first day of Transgender Awareness Month. Um, I will do a couple videos this month to speak about Transgender Awareness Month, as well as uh, Transgender Transgender Day of Visibility um, and Transgender Day of Res uh, Remembrance, which are also in this month. Um, I'm sorry, Transgender Day of Visibility is in March, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in November is Transgender Day of Remembrance, which is November 21st. I'll confirm that in my video. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that though. Um, anyways, um, so. Um, Back to my last uh, video where I talked about moving and I said that I had found a place and I did find a place and I was going to accept that place. However, um, there were a few issues about it that were kind of, you know, I was struggling with, which I did explain those in, at the time that, you know, it was really, really far from a bus station. So I wasn't really going to have the ability to get to and from work as easy as I, you know, could. And I was going to have to try to purchase a car or purchase a bike, which I did purchase a bike um, the very next day. Um, and then I luckily was told by my boss about this place that I'm in right now, which is kind of a smaller room for me, um, but it's going to work out. Me and Megan are moved in now, and uh, she had a really stressful day yesterday while moving, um, but I felt really bad for backing out on the, the house that I had told um, the girl that I was going to live with her on, live with her on, but this was just really too good to not take. Like, <clears throat> it's seven, six months lease. You know, I, I don't have to worry about um, utilities, um, anything like that. Like, I'm all set up here. Um, I just have to share this four-bedroom apartment that they gave me a room in with three other people, which I can totally do that. And, I mean, I've been a roommate before. I'm not the bad roommate. I'm usually the one that's, like, got some kind of reason and, and, and is not... You know, anyways, um, my last situation, obviously, you guys all know how horrible that was. So I'm kind of really stoked to be here. Um, I'm also closer to work, which is going to be really beneficial for me here. Um, so I won't have to now get a little bit more sleep during the daytime um, since I, I still work nights. Um, I have um, pretty much decorated my room. I like the way this new studio setup looks. I have some pretty decent lighting in here, so I get lit up pretty well. I love the fact that my flags are now framed in the camera. I'm eventually going to try to bring this down a little bit. There's lots of things I'm working on to try to make this better here. Um, but uh, yeah, we are getting there. Um, I've, I've finally moved. Um, this will probably be uh, a, one of my only installments of Just Some Thoughts probably this month, unless I just feel like speaking out. There are some interesting things going on um, in the transgender community as well as outside of the transgender community that affect the transgender community that I'll definitely might have some thoughts on uh, to talk about this month. Um, we're probably not going to have a conversation about tampons. Um, that was just very frustrating, that whole ordeal that's been going on the last few weeks. Um, trans men still have periods. There's an expensive operation to stop that from happening. So, like, this uh, this discrimination that trans women are facing because of this whole always changing their symbol thing has just really kind of got blown way out of proportion. And it's just it's just become way too difficult for me to really touch. It's like, 
too much of a touchy subject, so I don't really t want to touch it. I just want to tell you that my personal opinion is I think it's really fucking ridiculous. Um, anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I've got moved. Um, this is Transgender Awareness Month. I'm going to continue on with my series later on today, as well as tomorrow, um, my coming out journey, so please look out for those. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please don't forget sub to subscribe. I, I love every single one of you guys and pr appreciate every single one of you guys for watching my videos. We'll talk to you guys all later. Bye-bye.